Hey guys, Blue Kool Aid back at you with another video, real quick. Um, Magnetosphere. I've been wanting to talk about this for a few now, guys. I've been seeing some weird stuff happening. Okay, uh, I'll explain here real quick why this thing's loading. Got you at the ISWA site. Okay, Oops. that's where we go to look at the magneto paws. At least that's where I go. There's a lot of stuff that you can look at on this tool. It's very helpful most of the time. Anyway, what I want you guys to look at is here, you'll see stuff happen like right there. And then you also see it switch and kind of do one of those numbers. And at the same time, most of the time, you'll see the pressure on the front side either go from there. And then on the next capture, it'll be up here. So... And something else I want to say here, um, I don't want to say there's anything behind the earth this close of what I'm going to show you, but I'm seeing a signature that I've not seen before, and I, I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to tell you what it is real quick. What you're going to see is, sometimes we see these, you know, you got the two bow echoes out here in the front, right? Usually, that's what we usually see. And then we've been seeing this constant reverse pressure also. Now, normally, you just kind of used to, we, sorry, used to, we would just see kind of right in here, and it'd be heavy pressure, and it, it would go back like that once in a while, but now it's starting to creep around the front also, and it's starting to spread out, but what I want you guys really to pay attention to, you see these bow echoes pop out like right there. But then now they're starting to close on the sides and you're getting lower pressure in the middle like there's something there that it has to go around. Some sort of magnetic disruption. Now I'm not going to say what it is because I don't know. But I do think that something's starting to get closer to us. And I think that's going to keep that way. Do I think something's going to hit us? No. I just know that something's going to affect the earth here. And I think we all kind of, you know, kind of buy into that in this community that we just need to be prepared no fear i'm just trying to show you what i see okay so basically i'm going to drag this through and you're going to see what i'm talking about here now i'm going to show you i'm pointing out a couple other things when i get there now can you kind of see it pulsing kind of like the earth is throbbing like pushing energy all directions okay now you see that right there okay it's starting to build right Something else, I haven't seen deep purples in these things in a long time. We were seeing them every day all the time a few months back. It went away, went back to kind of normal. Now I'm starting to see that low, low pressure again. Now, keep in mind, see all that funky stuff happening back there? I know it doesn't look like very impressive right there, but look at the shapes it's making. Now this right here is a is classic of what I'm talking about. Used to, like I said, pressure just kind of stopped right there. Well, now it's creeping around, guys. And I've seen it, not reds go all the way around, but I've seen the blues, lighter colored blues, and sometimes green go all the way around. And then we'll see even pressure right inside here. It's almost like a spiral sometimes. I've talked about that before. But look, look behind us there. Look at that. Okay, you're seeing all this funky stuff. And then you're going to see a weird V-shaped signature in the front. Okay, did you see that? It went from that. Okay, and I want you to keep in mind, look at, look, at the, just look at the dark blue here. See the shape that it's taking? Okay. Now, it almost like reverses. And then that shape goes the other side facing the other direction. Okay, watch. Okay, see that? See what it just did right there? Goes from that to that in one capture. Look at that. Okay, what I want to point out here is because I've seen this on a different model. You see the real sharp V's right here? V shapes? Then you got this shape, you know, like I said, the dead center there. Now, you're going to see something funky here in a minute, too, there. So I'm going to keep going with this. This is, you know, if we get strong solar winds from the front, you know, sometimes we can get funky stuff. It's normal. 
but what we're seeing here is it's actually coming from behind which isn't normal so I just want to put that out there now you're seeing look up look behind right there you see that okay it's kind of that's almost circular so I, I don't know and you're seeing that you see it kind of pulsating to watch this see what just kind of watch this thing throb I'm moving it back and forth you see that it's just weird look at that huh look at that wonder what that is you got pressure here and here but nothing there and look right here it's bowed out right there what the heck the heck is that guys I don't know you know this this white dotted line that you see here is the the satellite orbit the black that you see here is part of the earth's atmosphere and obviously there are surfaces there in the middle but let's keep going here okay Okay, that, that right, this right here is what I'm talking about, okay? You see how we used to get the bows shooting in that direction, right? Why, since when do we shoot a straight line out like that, number one? Then it goes, it looks like it goes around something because you got lower pressure right here. Usually these, it's broken right there. Okay, what I'm saying is usually, you see, like, the really really light colors there but this kind of connected so that's what i'm trying to point out here all right and keep in mind the v's and then th like i said this is this is live this is like the second time i've looked at this in a few minutes here but then just to kind of correlate with everything else that we're seeing okay i go to this model and this is our lines, you know, you got the IMF, the blue lines are what connects us to the sun and other celestial objects. The black lines are the, the lines that come off our poles, and they connect to other stuff. And then you got closed field lines like a closed circuit. So, you know, do, do a little bit of research on that to get a better understanding of what that is. But it tells you what this is, and I'll explain later, and I've, I've explained before, but um, I'm not going to take the time to do that tonight. This is going to be long enough. So, I mean, there, there's your key right there, okay? And then, you know, obviously the pressure, the brighter reds is the highest pressure. Down to the really deep, dark blues is the lowest. So watch this thing, okay? And that ain't too bad right there. You know, you get one little, one little pole line out here dancing around. That's pretty normal nowadays, what we're calling normal. And look out in the front, you see some solar stuff coming from the sun pretty normal too okay here we go i'm just going to speed this up a little bit because i know where this thing starts once it starts it does it multiple times guys okay you see that i mean that was pretty fast that's what i'm saying you got to look at this something moving that fast is pretty odd okay i'm going to show you guys this too remember the v's i just showed you look at that that's one of the lines that's supposed to connect us to the sun or other celestial bodies that's an imf line so, you know, that right there just corresponds with that other video I just showed you, or other time lapse. Okay, here we go. Look at this crazy stuff, guys. I mean, I don't even know how to explain what this is. I mean, it just, well, one thing I will say is almost always these disruptions start right here. I've seen them start closer to the earth, too. So, just saying. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I mean, it's just wow. And look at these funky. I mean, some of this stuff I've never seen. Not, not even. Well, I've seen crazy stuff on here, and I think we all have. Look at that one. Okay. I mean, it's just going all kinds of crazy. Just saying. I'm just gonna toggle through this because I really don't know what to tell you guys about this. Something else I've noticed here, though, during this, we always see it, our shield's kind of facing you that way or down this way like that. Well, it's pointed up 
pretty steep right now. Okay. It really should be facing forward. Now, I've had an explanation given to me, and I, I kind of can buy into it a little bit, that, you know, as our seasons change, we tilt, so the earth tilts on its axis, and we also go a little bit uh, on our uh, ecliptical, our orbit that we are around the, the sun. Basically, we're either connecting to the north pole of the sun or the south pole of the sun at any given time, and I think that that could kind of change where our shields are going maybe i can kind of buy into that i'm not 100 percent on it yet but but we also got to keep in mind we are in the midst of a pole shift so when those flip you know this could be all signatures leading up to it i don't know but look at look at this stuff guys i mean a five-year-old could know that that ain't right it shouldn't do that okay this really shouldn't so, you know, I'm going to toggle through and let you guys see it all here. Look at that. I mean, just wow. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Holy smokes, Batman. Well, wow. Thinking I might use one of those for a thumbnail, guys. Okay, we're gonna keep going through here. And again, this is multiple times in a row, really close to, to time, like there was bunches of stuff going on here. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna take a screenshot, guys. <laughs> so I can use it as a thumbnail, right there. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on to the next uh, tool here. This is the one that impressed me the most, okay? Um, yeah. I'm not, did I load that up? I think I did. Okay. So here we go. You're not going to see nothing for a minute. Okay, it's not going to do a whole lot. Okay, well, and about the same time it reacted on all those other models, watch what happens. These are directional lines. This tells you what, line, what direction the pressure is moving, okay? Here we go. See it start? Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to say is, right there's where it started. Next frame. You can see something. I'm trying to stop it right there on that. Right there. Okay. You can see something punch through right here. Okay. At least that was more energy there, or harder energy, whatever you want to say. More intense, I guess is the best word. Are you seeing all that? I mean, and it keeps doing it over and over. Pop, pop, pop. And again, if you see arrows all the way on the left side, over here, pointing in that direction, yeah, it shouldn't happen. The sun should be stronger than anything. It should be pushing the other direction so look at this i mean this is just all kinds of nutty wow look at that guys i don't know what to say about it I really don't i don't know what's causing it i, I mean only thing i can say is that you know I, some stuff's starting to get closer to our earth that's all i'm saying and again like i said i don't think anything's gonna hit us but we are going through some changes, guys. You know, grand solar minimum. Yeah, maybe. You know, there's do there's a lot of people out there now that are thinking the sun's pretty much uh, not giving light off a whole lot. You know, hence our sun simulator and all those kinds of things. There's a lot of discussion being had on that. Now, you know, will we ever, ever get to the truth? I don't think we're ever going to get all the way there, guys. But we can get close. Okay, I'm going to run through this again. Okay, so you guys can see it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I mean, it, it, and it does it, and it does it at the same time the other models are doing it. Okay, so, I mean, there's that deep dark purple again. That was an interesting signature too. Uh, this right in here. That's kind of nut, nutty looking signature. But you see the dark purple? That's really low pressure, guys. So, I mean, you can see it just, I mean, something just ain't, 
ain't jiving, guys. Okay? I mean, just keep an eye on it, guys. You guys that go look at these, um, you know, if you guys see something and I haven't done anything on it yet, send me an email. We'll, uh, go, we'll, go, we'll do that, so. Anyway, guys, um, you know, that's, that's what's going on here, guys. I mean, it's, a uh, it's kind of funky. That's all I know. But, I'm gonna, uh, there's a truther out there. She's, she's got a, uh, radio show. It's called Under Lock and Key. I think it's on internet radio type of thing. It's called SKO uh, Radio Network. Dot com. I'll leave a link, but her show is called Under Lock and Key. It's at 5 p.m. on Mondays, and she talks about a lot of truth or subjects that, like foobar subjects that we don't really like to talk about a whole lot. You know, like uh, extra biblical Bible uh, books, like the Dead Sea Scrolls and you know Book of Enoch and all that kind of thing, and how it ties into what we're doing here. And are there are there aliens? Are there are they demons? Those those kinds of things. Um, whole lots of things, okay, and it all ties in. We were going to do a show together, but our schedules just could not hook up. So, um, we still will. Uh, but yeah, when you go there, just check her out at 5 p.m. on Mondays. It's called Under Lock and Key. It's on the SKO uh, Radio Network dot com. I'll leave a link, guys. Okay. And something else um, on the computer subject. Um, I'm still getting this thing fired up. Mike is awesome. It's just so great. I mean, I can't tell you how appreciative I am. Um, but I had another sub uh, uh, been corresponding back and forth. I have a monitor and keyboard and stuff just kind of sitting here, and I have a tower that's bad. Well, he's offered to send me a tower. So I, I think I'm going to take him up on that, and I've sent him some information. That way I can have, you know, a stationary spot to go do these videos. As long as with the laptop, I use them in correspondence. And we will uh, get a lot better video, okay? I mean, the, the the times will go down, which I know everybody wants. You know, I'm trying to stick to the points now instead of trying to run all over the place and rant. So I'm trying to stay to one subject or two subjects per video. But, I, um, yeah, he's going to list it on eBay, I think, and just, just for the shipping price, that's it. So um, that's in the works, too. So I just wanted to give, you know, Paul, thanks, buddy. I mean, he's from Michigan also, so it must be a Michigan thing. But, you know, I've talked to Mike a lot, and, you know, every conversation I've had with him has been great. He's an awesome dude. Uh, you know, I, just, well, I want to thank you all, really seriously, because you guys send in these captures and stuff, and I'm also going to start doing, uh, like, put together your guys' captures uh, once every two or three weeks and show them. I'll try to keep names with them, and then, and then if I come across ones you guys send me that I think I need to talk about, like right away, or I think it's really cool, I'll just show it, that type of thing, and talk about it, especially if it goes into the the subject matter that we're currently uh, speaking on, the narrative that we're talking about. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Kenny G's killing it out there, man. He has been, he's an OG, so, you know, he's doing doing his thing showing us a lot uh you know i can go to i got a list of names and i'm not going to read them all right now and if i forget your guys's name um you know I'm, I'm just using first names right now unless somebody wants me to use their last name i'll say like you know like i just did it a minute ago paul from michigan okay i mean that's you know if they want me to use a different name just let me know guys um just put it in the emails i'll try my best and uh Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it and look forward to uh, making some videos on this new computer. I really am. I'm excited. Um, I've been working on it. I'm just transferring files and stuff over, and I spoke on that in the past video, so I don't need to talk about that again. So, yeah. I guess I need to start jumping, stop jumping around like a squirrel, different subjects. <laughs> uh, but I am, you know, even until then, I'm going to start pausing these videos and, and letting these things load to save time. So, um, yeah. Uh, God bless. Yeshua saves. And uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.